Good and welcome everyone, it's Stuart here from Northern Bolton Tool and today is another exciting day. Inco has just released and launched their 1350 newton meter impact wrench and we have just received stock of this particular unit. So it is a quite a chunky boy, you can see even just in terms of box size it's a little bit different to the 400 newton meter machine and the 850 newton meter machine. In terms of physical weight it is a flipping heavy heavy tool. It comes in at just under 3.2 kilograms whereas the 850 comes in at 2 kilos and 400 newton meter machine comes in at approximately 1.3 kilograms so today we're going to look at this particular tool the 1350 newton meter tool we're going to do some torque testing on it show you guys some of the features of the tool and do an unboxing and show you guys what this tool comes with how it looks and how it works so with that let's get into the unboxing all right guys getting into the unboxing of this massive tool I open it up it is currently only available as a tool only but i am confident that a kit will be launched soon over here you have your owner's manual you've got a selection of three quarter inch drive sockets this is a three quarter inch drive machine and then of course you've got the machine itself now i thought the 850 newton meter machine was Thor's hammer but this thing truly is a beast i'm um, coming in at three kilos i think working with it with a battery on you're going to really get a nice arm workout it is huge but it has to be the size to get the torque obviously the hammer and anvil inside are quite big it really gives you that peak torque when you need it so a little bit different to the others in that it doesn't have a little like string over here to hold the machine like with a little string or whatever here you get this ring over here with this metal brace so a much more sturdy if you're climbing up scaffolding or something like that you know you can securely carry your tool with you no problem at all um, it is a brushless motor like the other ones in the range and uh, yeah it works very similar you've got your different settings down at the bottom here with nut busting feature they claim that it boosts it to 1900 newton meters of force in nut bust mode and obviously you've got your low medium and high with the associated rpms so guys let's get into an rpm test all right guys so we're going to start off this rpm test in the lowest mode it's rated at 900 rpm mode 2 1200 rpm and in its high mode it's rated at 1800 rpm so let's just set the chart is on low let's get the testing underway eight eight three that's very very close to 900 i'm happy with that let's test medium we're looking for 1200 1226 great result let's see what high brings us 1614 that is quite a bit short of the claimed 1800 rpm the other two modes are very very close but let's see if it affects it in the performance with regard to peak torque let's get into a little bit of a size comparison between the 400 the 850 and this particular unit and so guys as you can see this guy this was the previous big guy the thor's hammer and you can just see the physical size difference is extreme like this 1350 unit really is quite a bit more chunky um, if you look at it and compared to the 400 newton meter machine it looks like a little toy it really is significantly larger and it's just a massive massive tool so guys yeah you must be careful when using this you don't want to start stripping fasteners and that sort of thing so with that let's get into some performance testing all right guys testing time now we're going to fasten each one of these fasteners here for 10 seconds and then break it free with our torque wrench so air protection on make sure she's in forward uh, it's in high mode for maximum torque okay three two one all right guys um to the eagle-eyed viewer you would have noticed that i forgot to start the stopwatch when i started that previous test so i'm not going to loosen that one. i'm just going to leave it as it is i try to guess more or less 10 seconds but i suspect it actually started to strip because it looked like it was gaining a little bit of momentum there towards the end 
So I'm going to start with just these two over here with uh, 10 seconds and uh, yeah, we'll see if they're actually able to hold or if we're able to break our rig with this machine. So ear protection on. Okay, we're good to go for 10 seconds. Three, two, one. As you can see there guys, it's definitely stripped. Um, gonna need to just get the socket off. But uh, yeah, this machine is just absolutely destroying this rig. We'll do one more just for shits and giggles. I mean, we know at least two of them are already broken. So uh, yeah, we'll just uh, get this off and get the third one on the go. All right guys, that thing's stripped proper. Let's uh, see what happens on this last one. So we set up, we're good to go. Battery's fully charged. Okay, three, two, one. Well, guys, that was telling. Um, yeah, let me get the socket off and then we'll try and get these nuts off. I think it'll be kind of cool to see if they're even able to come off and uh, what condition the threads are actually in. All right, guys, so as you could see, we definitely stripped some threads. We looked underneath and our rig is still welded up perfectly underneath. So there's definitely damage done here. But we, uh, the show must go on, so to speak. So we're going to try the nut bus feature now. Uh, we know it's stripped. Let's just see if we can get them off. It'll be cool to just try out the feature and see how it works. So yeah, with that, let's get into it. Don't need this anymore. In reverse. Okay, nut bust is on. Okay. Yeah, those are quite crusty. Uh, it's not supposed to look like an insert when you take it off. So uh, let me get this nut out of the socket and we'll do the next one. All right, take number two. Yeah, that's uh, properly stripped. Let me take it off nut bust and let's just see if we can uh, get it off here. I don't think you get more stripped than that, guys. I can turn it with my finger over here. So we'll try and get this off another way. But uh, yeah, that is completely done. Let's try this next one while we are here. Ah, she's coming. She's coming. A little bit more. A little bit more, let me put nut bust on so I don't, uh, doesn't run all the way off when we're done. Wow. It's even smoking, guys. Wow, that is a lot of force there. And uh, yeah, there's metal and all sorts of nasty stuff there. Yeah, I'm not going to touch that. That's smoking hot that's a lot of force and a lot of power this machine really is incredibly powerful let me get this nut out of here and i'll show you guys up close what these threads look like all right guys so this test was a little bit of a useless one you can see how damaged these threads are um you know, we're able to obviously get an accurate test here on how much power this thing actually produces but there's like this <laughs> the nut is stripped clean um really quite a lot of power over here this is stripped on we can't even remove it we've tried a whole bunch of different ways of trying to get it off and there's absolutely nothing and this one here again the nut has like some threads but you can see by the amount of metal shavings that this is completely done this is also the unit or the the fast one who undid it it smoked a lot um we do put lubricating oil or grease on these before we tighten them just to give them the best shot and you can just see that this is absolutely destroyed um, yeah we'll have to try and figure something else out um, our rig is just not strong enough to handle the high torque of this particular machine and uh, yeah 
if anyone knows of anyone near the Midrand area that has something where we can go and test these machines, please hit us up and uh, we'll go and bring the tools there and test them and bring you guys some more accurate and scientific results. All right, guys, so there's our testing done. I'm very sorry that we couldn't bring you a conclusive scientific result with regard to the power and torque that this machine is able to produce. But like I said, if anyone knows of anyone in the Midrand area that would be willing to help us test our impact wrenches, we'll take the entire Inco range there. And uh, yeah, if they have testing, we'll be able to test them all and then bring you guys some proper, proper scientific results. With regard to our rig over here, unfortunately just couldn't take the punishment. Some larger fasteners with maybe a fine pitch thread would have helped, but uh, this is what we had available. This is what we had, so we just tried to use it, but obviously it was just no match for the sheer strength and brutality of this machine. It really is a big machine. It is heavy, so there are pros and cons to this machine. Obviously stripping fasteners, especially smaller fasteners, you'd strip fairly easily, but the larger fasteners and stuff, uh, you should be good to go on that front. So it's all about matching your application to what the tool is that you're using. That's why there's a nice range through Inco from 400 Newton meters right up to 1,350 Newton meters of torque to really match the application to the tool. I hope you guys at least enjoyed the video. Please uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. This tool is available in store and online. There'll be a link in the description below as well as our address should you wish to come and see this unit in person. Thank you guys all very much for watching and I'll catch you again next week for more exciting tools.